Hello, hello everyone. And so I've got been getting lots of questions about how I breed shrimp and the best ways to breed shrimp for profit. So I'm going to start a series of breeding shrimp for profit and the first topic I'm going to cover is what size tank is best for breeding shrimp for profit. And as always, this is what I do. I've got a system that I've been that's been working pretty good. Not everyone has a space for bigger tanks and there are always other ways to do things, but this is what I do. So I'm sharing what I've found to work best for me. And for all you people out there, I'm an American, so I'm gonna be talking about US gallons. And keep in mind, a gallon is almost four, four liters. So every gallon is four liters, so. A 10 gallon tank is something like 37, 38 liters, something like that. So for measurement and comparison. And the type of shrimp I breed are cherry shrimp or neo shrimp, neo caridinia. So keep those things in mind. So for me, bigger is better for making more shrimp, but not necessarily the best shrimp. And the reason for that is why it's better to make more shrimp. The shrimp are happier because the one thing shrimp love more than anything, more than perfection, more than doing absolutely everything right, they love consistency. Consistency, the same thing over long spans of time. They don't like a bunch of changes. And with a bigger tank, a bigger body of water is easier to keep consistent. You don't have as many temperature fluctuations. You have, and not only temperature, it's all the other parameters. You, when you have a bigger body of water, everything just seems to be easier to maintain. You know, I hope that makes sense because, well, and that's the same goes for any tank not just shrimp tanks bigger tanks are always easier to maintain they're just more stable because you have more volume of water and then you got more space more space for the shrimp to to do their thing if you got more space you can have more shrimp i mean that's pretty easy and then you've got more areas for natural food to grow that the shrimp are going to be grazing on at all times algae biomedia Bio, biofilm you're going to have more space for natural foods to grow and those are the things that the shrimp are going to be grazing on 24 hours a day and not just the few hours that you throw food in so while shrimp bigger is better to make more shrimp i said it's not the way to make the best shrimp to make the best shrimp even good shrimp Calling is the most important part. After you get good at making more, first you gotta get the making more shrimp part down. But once you start making more shrimp on a steady and consistent basis, calling is the single most important aspect if you're breeding shrimp for profit. Now remember, there are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people out there trying to sell shrimp. Only quality shrimp sells for decent money. We've all seen the hundreds and hundreds of shrimp with the imports. People are importing shrimp for pennies and selling them for next to nothing. So if you want to be able to make some money off your shrimp, you want to have the best shrimp. That's what's going to set you apart from all the thousands and thousands of people out there trying to shield their shrimp. Now quality is king, always has and always will be. You're going to get a lot more money for a good quality shrimp. Now, that may sound hard, but there's ways to do that, and I'll save that for another video. We're talking about tank sizes here, but we're not talking about calling and stuff. But to make more shrimp, that's the most important thing. And then once you get to making more shrimp, then calling shrimp. So remember, smaller tanks are way easier to call. And that's, so it's not always that you got to benefit the positives and the negatives. So, 
in a big tank you can make tons and tons of shrimp really easy I have found at least for me and but it's super super difficult to call a big shrimp or a big shrimp tank I mean I have two 75 gallon shrimp tanks and they are hard to call the smaller tanks obviously you have less space less hunting around and there's other tricks and stuff to make calling easy like minimizing your decorations or your hardscape like in the shrimp tanks that I'm really going hard to breed all I have is a couple clumps of moss and maybe a few stem plants so then when I need to cull shrimp I can easily get them in one area or pull out all the moss and the plants and are just a bare tank there just substrate and you can see all the shrimp right there and then you can throw in an algae wafer and you can get them all gathered up in one big pile that's like how I'm doing in this video here <laughs> So for me, and this is the part y'all been waiting for, the best size tank for me that I have found to breed the best quality shrimp in, is the compromise is a 20 gallon long. 20 gallon highs are all right too, but I like the footprint. You get more footprint space on a 20 gallon long than you would. So you get more footprint, more space in a 20 gallon long than you would a 20 gallon high and I also like to breed lots of shrimp in 40 gallon breeders I have eight 40 gallon breeders or I breed lots of shrimp in and I also have a hundred gallon stock tank I'm breeding shrimp in right now so that covers the whole span of things of what I got going on but to breed the best and still get a good amount going I find that the 20 gallon long is the best now Another thing you can do over the course of time is once you get your lines refined and you get them to where you don't have to cull that much, then you can start putting no shrimp in bigger tanks. So, and then you get the benefits of, you've already gone through and made the line over, I mean, this takes years. It takes years to make the lines as good as they possibly can be. And then you can move them into a bigger tank, like even a 100 gallon stock tank, like I have one right now. And I plan to set up another one for two of my most consistent, most steady lines. And then, because I'm only picking out a few shrimp out of those lines, and those are my Bloody Marys, which I've already got a 100 gallon stock tank pond going for. And then eventually I'm going to set up one for my blue jellies, because those are almost, I mean, I'll call out less than. Out of hundreds and hundreds of shrimp, I call out maybe 20 once or twice a year. So those lines do really good. And so remember, it's going to be a balancing act. The bigger tanks I always have way more success with as far as making more shrimp. But you remember, there's, it's way more than just making more shrimp to being a shrimp breeder for profit. You got to have really, really good, super good shrimp. So keep that in mind. And like I've said, for me, the compromise is a 20 gallon long. I find that to be, you get enough volume that the shrimp are happy and you can make, and it, you can hold a whole lot of shrimp. I usually end up breeding about 300 to 500 every six months or so I find in most of my tanks, depending on how many shrimp I start off with. And that's another thing I'm gonna go into another video. So go ahead and subscribe. And I'll be talking a whole lot more about how to breed shrimp for profit in future videos. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye.